Hi, I'm Andre, and I'm a black nerd, and I'm angry! Ah! Black nerd rain! Today's topic, 2011. 2011 sucked. Number of movies released in 2011, over 850. Number of movies released in 2011 that aren't a remake, a reboot, a sequel, a prequel, or based on a TV, movie, comic book, or cartoon? One. And unfortunately, that one is Bucky Larson. Netflix was named the worst company of 2011 because of that whole Nestle Quickster thing. But they that pretty early, so I don't really think they gave GoDaddy, Lowe's, and Ocean Marketing a good chance. Sopa, you sucka. Not only are you a terrible law, but you sound like something an Italian stereotype would say while taking a bath. Mario, I'm about to take a shower. Pass me the sopa. Video games. I don't know if you heard this, but a year actually has 12 months. So stop putting every video game out in November. Just because we look like we don't have lives, don't mean we don't have lives. I hate the 1%. But to be fair, I also hate the 99%. Look, I'm all for the cause, whatever it is. But can you occupy something indoors? Because you fucking up my traffic. But I get it. You're all mad because you believe that someone committed a crime or at least knows something about the crime and is getting away with it in plain sight. Psh, come on, that never happens in America. Facebook, this new timeline design you got, it's cute. While you're at it, let me be able to put glitter on my profile. And let me automatically play Willow Smith songs when I go to my profile. And then fucking call the site. MySpace. Herman Cain and Kobe Bryant. Damn, man. Butler just can't keep their hands off white bitches, can they? I know Tiger Woods can't. Why do you think he's playing so well lately? Gay people still can't get married. I'm gonna help you out, gays. Here's what you do. Make a sex tape. Release that sex tape, which will make you famous. Then you call up the E! Network. They'll give you a reality show. You make yourself a skank to basketball players. And then you marry one of the basketball players on national television. And if the marriage don't work out, don't worry about it. You can end it in like 70 days. Better idea. Marry a 16-year-old. Perfect! Lindsay Lohan posed nude in Playboy. Um, is Playboy a time machine? Is it Herbie Fully Loaded Mean Girls Lindsay Lohan? Because then I would care. I'd rather see a nude portrait of Jerry Sandusky. But I'm probably too old. For that. MTV named Katy Perry the artist of the year. Teenage Dream came out in 2010. Every song in 2011 is so bad we have to go back a year to honor an artist. It's five o'clock in the morning and your songs are boring. And as for you, Rebecca Black, I still love you, girl. Keep doing what you do. Fight the power. Fast lane, switching lane. So, NBC, you're gonna shelve community, but you're gonna keep that Whitney running, huh? You must love being in last place. I hear your ratings are so bad you're getting beat by UPN. Fear Factor is back. I was just saying the other day that the way for television to reinvent itself is to show people eating goat testicles. You know TV is bad when short-skirted chicks, half-naked chicks, and chicks kicking ass can't stay on the air. And superhero chicks kicking ass can't even get on the air. But don't worry friends, Jersey Shore is still on. And the people that make that show are also making a geek reality show. Oh my god, I hope the Mayans are right about 2012. Black nerd rats. Now I want to hear from you. Worst thing of 2011. Put it in a comment or a video response. Be sure to like and favorite this video and tickle that subscribe button so you know when new videos are coming out. Thanks a lot for a great 2011, cousins. I'll see you in 2012. I'm out at 5,000. Chain chomp. Ew.